Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel Tiffy. Before we get into this video, I have to say something for a little bit. I have filmed this video like two or three weeks ago and I didn't consider, of course, I didn't consider all of the coronavirus happenings right now. So that is why I'm not saying anything about it. I am making cheerful jokes and things like that. But I feel like that is something to keep up happening right now because everything is going down and maybe, just maybe, I can take your mind out of that for these 20 minutes of a video just once. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today we're gonna do something very adulty. We're gonna make food. And I thought I would take you with me on this little journey because our food here at home is a little bit special. And I thought to share my cooking process a little bit more would be something that is maybe considered interesting because I'm not the, world is the world's best cooker. Uh, because I literally never did it and I'm slowly trying to learn it so if I take you with me on that journey that'd be great I think. So why is our cooking a little bit more special? It is because my boyfriend is currently following the low carb no carb diet and is trying to lose some weight and he has been doing that for quite some time so each and every recipe has to be pretty much calculated to have the lowest amount of carbs in them. And you have to be very careful with the ingredients and it is a lot of research before you can make anything. But he has begun with that in August last year. So we've started to learn a couple of things, how we can replace normal bread or how to use cheese and eggs to make waffles and stuff like that. It's been a very eye-opening journey. The diet is basically called keto diet because you're going through ketosis, if I understood it correctly. And the ketosis is making you burn your own fat by not giving you any carbohydrates that basically capture all the fat and build up new fat. So the body is basically forced to use its own fat to take energy. And this recipe today is called Keto Pesto Chicken Casserole with Feta Cheese and Olives. So let's get cutting! So let's start by cutting up all the things that need to be diced and sliced and cut in whatever and put them into little bowls so it looks very Instagrammy. I like that you're talking to my hips. What up? <laughs> the amount of the ingredients that you put into a keto recipe is very important to be held in so I can't just use these 200 grams of feta cheese I have to actually get it down to 150 because it will fuck up the whole carbohydrate shit the carbs are the important thing that needs to be held down that's why the diet is called low carb diet so if I put in 200 grams too much or like 50 grams too much it will fuck up my boyfriend's diet and I don't want to let that happen okay this is zero. We have one, two, three. Put that in here. That's 130 actually. So, this is 176. That's 150. This, the, all of this should be 200. Why are you lying to me? Piece of shit. So the olives we just have to weigh out how much we need of those. I actually bought the ones with paprika inside but I looked at it and it doesn't seem to make any difference in the carb number or the carb grams per 100 gram and it, it sounds okay. They didn't have anything else on the supermarket so I had to buy douche. We need 75 gram of those. So then we need a, car a garlic clove, finely chopped. This is where the mess really begins. I hate getting these garlics out. And I really hope we didn't get a real weird batch of um, garlic again because we've had those for a month now and every time we've added these garlics, I don't know why they're, they've been so weird but they've always tasted a little bit soapy and basically ruined the whole dish each time but let's hope that these two new ones will taste a little bit better instead of just ruining the whole taste of it all but 
We will see. It's really weird having someone watching me <laughs> whilst I'm cutting these things. I'm getting really anxious about them, how I'm cutting things. I don't know. I'm a very clumsy person and I'm an Aries. So I'm pretty chaotic at the same time as I'm organized. So everything is really counter intuitive. I'm hitting things. I'm not doing things right. But, you know, we live and we learn. But my clumsiness never fades. <laughs> so it could be happening that I'm gonna cut myself again. That's one minced garlic. And then we're gonna go to the nasty part, the chicken. And for that, if you hear anything weird in the background, that's just our cats having a lot of fun. But for that chicken, just as a safety measure, I'm getting all of the fresh ingredients away from here because I don't want no salmonella happening in here. But they're probably all getting warmed up and heated in the oven nonetheless, so it wouldn't matter, but safety first. I'm also putting on a plastic glove on my left hand because I hurt myself earlier and it's kind of an open wound that has dried, but as I said, safety first with chicken. So off this chicken, we need 650 grams. 300, 550, 800. Okay, so we have to cut one of these smaller, ugh, looks disgusting. That's 666. Okay, Satan. I was actually a vegetarian for my younger years since I'm such an old wise man now. But when I was younger and still living home in Germany, I was a vegetarian for the longest time because I just hated meat and how it tasted and I kind of blame my parents for that. Shouts out to my parents. I mean, their their food was able to be eaten easily, but it wasn't very tasty. You know, it, it just it was just the purpose of not being hungry anymore afterwards. So then I kind of thought like, okay, cool, but if it doesn't taste amazing to me, or it doesn't taste good at least to me, why am I even eating this if it is an animal? You know what I mean? <laughs> it is kind of a weird ethical discussion that's to be had about this because of course there's a lot of vegans on the internet, but we're carnivores. And ever since I've met Vic, he showed me how to cook the food really tasty. And, I mean, I still don't know how to do it without a fucking recipe. And also, when I'm following a recipe, it often goes pretty much the wrong way. But, at least, he knows how to do it and he really loves his meat. If you know what I'm saying. And also, the, the low-carb diet really involves a lot of meat. So, that is basically the main ingredient of each and every meal. Although, I could probably live without meat, to be pretty honest. I mean, sure, it's just something that you're getting used to if you're not eating it anymore. And it was pretty hard for me when I transitioned back into being a carnivore because I just, you know, I didn't have like a bad feeling or like I didn't feel necessarily guilty, but I felt disgusted definitely disgusted just by the food you know when it already was prepared but i haven't been a vegetarian for three years now and i'm still struggling with it chicken is specifically disgusting the only thing that i find even more disgusting after it had been prepared is fish i absolutely despise fish it is so disgusting to me So now that we're done cutting, I preheated the oven to 200 degrees. I just cleaned the fucking oven, but some meat dripped on it and it just looks disgusting again. Please don't talk about it so it never happened. Okay, cool. So now we have to season the chicken with a little bit salt and pepper. Next step. Add butter or oil to a large skillet and fry the chicken pieces in batches on medium-high heat until golden brown. Hey Google, what is a skillet? According to Wikipedia, a frying pan, fry pan or skillet is a flat-bottomed pan used for frying, searing and browning foods. 
It is typically 20 to 30 centimeters in diameter with relatively low sides that flare outwards, a long handle, and no lid. Larger pans may have a small grab handle opposite the main handle. She could have just said it's a frying pan, you know? But knowledge is power. Okay, we have our skillet and then we have to heat up some butter in it. Like, I think butter is the only ingredient that you can really just mess around with in the keto diet. It is basically just fat and fat is what you need in this diet. Because you don't need any carbs, but the fat is something that helps you lose the weight. So butter is great. Red or green pesto or making your own mixed pesto and heavy cream in a bowl. Fuck, I didn't pre-do that. Pre-do is also an English word, by the way. Okay, 300 milliliter heavy whipping cream, okay? Ah, uh, just a little, I knew it. Okay, and how much of the pesto? Five tablespoons. Holy shit. Five. That looks disgusting. <laughs> you wanna take a closer look on that? That just looks amazing. Can't wait to eat it. Now the disgusting mess is gonna happen and you guys are not gonna hear shit anymore probably because it's gonna stir. I mean fry. There's a hungry cat in the window that probably wants to get inside because she sees that someone's making food. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. What is a ghost's favorite plant? Bamboo. Tell me a good joke. What do you call a panda with no teeth? A gummy bear. Hey Google, insult me. Getting insult me. Welcome to Feeling Insulted. I am here to insult you in an authoritative British accent. It's scary to think that people like you are graduating from college. Wanna hear one more? Yeah. You want more? I don't know what makes you so stupid, but it really works. In fact, you are so dumb, your IQ is less than your shoe size. One more insult. Sure. Okay, one more coming up. Are you always this stupid, or are you making a special effort today? One more insult. Okay. Naturally, you'd like more insults. You're the reason the gene pool needs a lifeguard. You don't seem to have anything better to do. How about another insult? No. I cannot understand what you said, so typical of you. Just admit that you want to be insulted. No! Not very smart, are you? I cannot understand what you just said. Oh just admit you're a loser and I'll insult you again. No. Sorry, I can't help. The recipe said that these chicken slices should be golden brown. But I've seen them water and I've cooked them a little, or like I've fried them a little bit longer than that. I'm, and I'm just fearing the fact that these will be too dry if I fry them any longer. And our chicken usually just looks like that. Just happens like that. Maybe American chicken looks a little bit more browner if you have it in the pan for a time. I don't know, dude, but our chicken is pretty white. Also, hey, I'm back. <laughs> chicken in America is not darker. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. I've showed the video to Vic and he told me whilst he was laughing to tears that I just cooked too much chicken or fried too much chicken in a frying pan and with that the chicken started cooking or boiling in its own juices and that's why it stayed white because it was boiling not being fried and browned on the outside. I am stupid but also a complete noob when it comes to food so I hope, I hope that's okay. <laughs> so now we have to put all of this good shit, everything that we have been cutting and cooking and everything we have to put into this and then into the oven there's a cat staring at me from the corner as well because she is hungry like the keto diet is pretty insane if i might may say so myself because like if you think about dinner would you ever imagine for two people to be cooking this amount of chicken <laughs> 650 grams of chicken seems 
humongous. I'm really wondering how this will taste. Because there's really not many spices that I've put into this and I'm kind of scared about it. Salt and pepper and a little bit of pesto. I mean a lot of pesto. I don't know if that's gonna taste that good. And then some garlic on top of all of that. Look at that. That doesn't look good. I guess the feta is gonna melt and kind of build up a layer on top, but I don't know. I don't really like how this looks. Okay, the oven is preheated. We're ready to put it in. I'm really excited to find out how this will taste. Hey Google, how much is left of the timer? One minute and 50 seconds remaining. Of 20 minutes. I mean, it said 20 to 30 minutes. The feta cheese doesn't seem to melt. I thought it might melt because the cheese was supposed to be put on top together with all the other shit and I just imagined cheese melting but apparently feta cheese doesn't really do that it kind of remained in these bricks and gets a little bit crispy on the top and I'm a little bit worried that this chicken kind of deal will just be that together with the cream and pesto on top and it just will be a watered down mess so we'll see how it looks like oh god it's heavy all right, definitely looks better than I expected it to look like. Looks like we're done with this. Everything that I have to do now is just to wait for it to cool down a little bit so all of the fluid set. Uh, that's what I learned by watching a lot of these cooking competitions. And then we can put it on a plate and see if Vic likes it. He actually didn't come home yet. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It definitely has some sort of a layer on top. I still believe that, yeah, it is quite gooey. But we'll, we'll actually just see what happens and if the dearest boyfriend really likes it or not. I'm excited. Oh, it's watery. Oh, gooey mess i thought i could make a really fancy plating but this looks awful oh no <laughs> okay let's here goes nothing oh okay ah you see that maybe i have another plate that makes it look better because this just looks like straight up vomit it's supposed to be a casserole so, a bowl is not so bad. We're just gonna make this happen. Here goes nothing. It doesn't really look that bad. I don't know if it's gonna taste good. Leafy greens on top. I really hate the look of watery pesto cream doesn't look that appetizing does it the legend has arrived to review the food Asada. it is a keto casserole how Ooh. do you like the looks of it it looks very nice i hate it <sighs> i was trying to be nice <laughs> but it smells good should i try mm -hmm. i can eat this Mmm. Thanks. It's good. <laughs> no. Oh man. No, it's good. What do you mean? I oh man. Eat it. I can't say anything and she'll take it bad <laughs> either way. You said you can eat it. It's not like oh my god, it's good, man. It's oh, it's good. It's a lot of chicken. I like chicken. Is the feta good in there? Mm hmm It's really nice. With the burn. Uh huh. It's nice. It gives it. A whole new dimension! It's a lot of pesto. I thought it will not have that much of a good taste, but... No, it's level. So it was a try. It Ready is delicious. Up? You wanna try some? Of course right. she wants to. <laughs> Can she eat pesto? Mm -mm. Wow. He's so nice. 
I wasn't that uh, happy about how it was looking and I didn't think that it was gonna taste good at all, but it's, it's definitely good. edible. It's good. What is the sauce? It is pesto together with cream. Good? Nice. Then our today's challenge has been completed. A success. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy. Oh, bachki. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you in my next video.